Hey guys, uh, welcome to class today. Um, um, this video is a follow-up video of the last video we did, as you guys always wish, how to um, bypass the oil sensor. This is a follow-up video. I just feel uh, my subscribers deserve to know more about oil switch because basically with the last explanation we did it was just to just a, a touch we didn't really go we didn't really dive deep into it and for this class i decided to come up with a half engine this is a half engine from sumec it's a sumec fireman half engine okay fireman fireman half engine so this is the half engine that powers a sumer generator all right and this housing this particular house is where the engine oil is housed okay this is where the engine oil is housed this particular place you get me so when this rotates this help from this, this is a corn rod for that explanation will be done on this in subsequent videos but we're just going to be diving more on your switch but as i talk about the oil switch i will just touch a little bit on the parts close to it so this is a corn rod that helps in splashing the oil around the crankcase as it rotates this is the crankcase the corn rod this is the crankshaft all right the oil switch is here okay the oil switch is yeah this is the oil switch i had to lose it out so you get so you can explain very well the oil switch is here this is it these are the bolts that connect the oil switch are you getting me this connects the oil switch down to the crown case okay this connects the switch. I'm going to just want to bolt this. Uh -huh. Good. This connects the switch down to the crankcase. Uh, I'll lose it out again. I will lose it out again. Okay. I just explained how this switch is connected to this place. Okay. You see, this is the principle of how an oil switch works. Why the oil switch is connected to this crankcase? It works this way. When there's oil in the crankcase, this knob, or I call it a knob, whatever, this touches, this is supposed to go up. When there's oil in the crankcase, this goes up. Okay? Meaning this cannot touch the body of the crankcase. Are you getting me? But when there's no oil in the crankcase, this falls down okay let me explain that further with this little container i got from a bottle water i had to cut it deep and pour oil inside so we can explain further you see this now what it now means is there's no oil around this oil switch so now that there's oil i'm going to dip it into oil and see if this comes up okay you see i've dipped it into oil you see it coming up right you see it coming up Taking it back, it drops into oil, into oil again, it comes up. So basically, that's how it works inside. When there's oil in the generator, the oil switch, this goes up in the oil switch. And when the oil, it comes down. Now, when it goes up, the gen works fine because there's oil. When this comes down, what happens? The gen automatically shuts down. Are you getting me? This comes down and it hits the crankcase. The gen automatically shut down. Meanwhile, you'll be asking, how does this connect to shutting down? How does it work? Good. I will fix this properly now. quite technical and you have to be careful trying to fix it 
yes i need a position where it will be easy for this to come out all right we've gotten it now okay how to rotate the crankshaft so it's easy for me to to fix it before then what i just successfully did now was to take this out from the crankcase this is connected to a sensor we'll get to that okay there's a 12 sometimes 14 i think this is a 14 not actually that is is 14 knots i hope you can see this it's just in an enclosed area but i just hope you can see it okay this is a 14 knot what we've successfully done is so it can stay in position that 14 knots is just to make that wire stay in position let's connect the let's put it back properly this is your switch Okay, if you notice carefully now see what i explained the other time since there is no oil here, that stuff drops down and it touches the body of the crankcase do you see this let me use a screwdriver do you see this it drops down since there is no oil here. it touches the body of the crankcase originally if there was oil here, it would have gone up just like i explained in that little um experiment I explained with this remember i explained it with this oil remember so that is how it works all right now now that this has been connected this oil switch is just to show to the generator there is no oil shut down so that the owner of the generator can refill good it doesn't just work on its own and of course that is where the sensor comes in this is a sensor it is connected to the body of this generator this is it it helps the oil switch to activate the generator to go off when there is no oil look at it this is a sensor and it's what it's connected to this it's not even difficult this this the fitting yellow yellow fitting okay this is connected to another part of the generator which is not here now but that's not what we are talking about now we just want to explain to you how the air switch works why this is connected to the on and off it's somehow connected to the on and off switch such that when there is no oil this activates the sensor and the sensor sends it the signal to the on and off switch of the generator that there is no oil and the gen immediately shuts down it immediately shuts down how does it shut down it adds down itself and then it shuts down okay i hope with this we've really understood how the oil switch work if you still don't get it perfectly you can send your questions on the comment section and I will attend to them as soon as possible. It's bye from our end till we meet in our next class. But please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. We will take our time to teach you the various skills and techniques you need to know as regards generators. Take care. It's bye from our end.